I heard about a bra commercial. Can you tell yes. me about what the fuck happened with this bra commercial? Oh, well, I get a lot of articles saying I've got fake boobs and stuff. Yeah. They're not. They've They're got not. a life of their own. I'm very like, jealous. They, well, actually, I've, I've what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's really nice too. Yeah, yeah. But mine go, you know, up and down and up and down. And I remember I had to shoot this commercial. Um, anyway, I had to cancel it because I was so hormonal. I couldn't fit the bra. So I had to cancel, say I was sick. Oh and wait God. till I wasn't hormonal. It cost them fifty thousand dollars to move this commercial. Did they, were they upset with the? Well, I just said I was sick, but so, I mean they weren't stoked. <laughs> they were like, great, but yeah, they just got. And nowadays, like you, you know, that real boobs, you know what they're like. Like oh half my the God. time. Literally C cup to an E cup throughout my cycle. I'm exactly the same. They're unpredictable. It's it's, it's like, wild. Can't plan it. Yeah, there were times yeah. in after party where we'd have to change what I was wearing, or like we'd have to really zip me up because then the mic packs added in as well. Yeah, your boobs are just like. Yeah. It's it's painful. Well, it's I take awful. sometimes half of them to my back to fit. Like, it's like, I'll just take them wherever they can yeah, go nice. to move them around. Yeah. You see, my nipples. They're like really Gumby. <laughs> like, they just move nowadays. <laughs> but, see, my nipples on after body had to get like triple taped because they get, my nipples are always hard. Yeah, right. And always wanting to be exposed. Yeah. But Channel 9 didn't like that very much. Surprised men don't listen to your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about like, you're obviously very intelligent. Because you have mm, okay, area. No, 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 but, no, no, yeah, no, but you I, obviously I are. That. No, but you are. Because you've had a career in all these different areas and hosting is fucking hard, everyone. Mm. Do you feel like you've ever been, you were saying before you kind of typecast as this like ditzy blonde. Do you feel like that now? Do you ever feel like people assume you're, you're, you're just a ditzy bimbo? Or do you feel like now you've been able to show yourself so you are confident in your personality in the public life. I think back in the day, everyone thought I was a ditzy blonde and I was like, I'm smarter than you think, everyone. You're very and I'd smart. say, don't underestimate me. Mm. But now I feel like I'm overestimated. Where I'm like, <laughs> everyone's like, you're super smart. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> like, I'm not some manipulative. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, don't overestimate me. I don't know a lot of shit. <laughs> 